So, um, let's begin. We might be dealing with the speaking of better judgment, right, Taurus? And we have the judgment card. We cut the cards with the judgment card and the justice. So, I don't know if you are going through some legal struggles or you need to make a decision. Or there was a bad decision and then the justice came in. Kind of to balance the scales. We'll see. We will see, but definitely a, a decision went wrong somehow. So let's see how wrong. Ten of Pentacles. In regards to family and family issues, husband, wife, something about roots, legacy, children went wrong, and we right now a little bit burdened, but that's all right. We're gonna go through it, right? Let's have the last shuffle. Um, Taurus, and then we cut the cards to see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy for January. So yeah, so let's see. Always the most important for me, the overall energy. Um, all tied up. Oh yeah, it was a hell of a fight, right Taurus? It was a little bit of like a stubborn fight, right? Um, might be a little bit of competition also. Five of Wands is internal struggle, struggle with somebody, but can be also a little bit of competition. But it does look like a struggle in life, maybe Gemini. And some communication of some sort that happened, some conversation that took place. And um, we do have the Sun, Gemini, Leo energy. But we have here a communication, a conflict of some way, of some sort, maybe some... I don't love you anymore. That's exactly the combination of cards. Taurus with lovers in reverse and the page of swords. I don't think I love you anymore. Oh, well, you know. <laughs> and uh, of course we have words um, kind of thrown out there uh, because we were fighting. And you know, there is an urge uh, to win a fight. And sometimes to hurt the other person, we don't know exactly why, right? We just do that impulsively. So I do believe there was a, a conflict here. And now nobody's happy with the sun in reverse. Everybody's confused. Everybody's unhappy why this is all happening. You know, why the communication? Why do we need to say these words when it happens, you know? Um, and that is also, you don't make me happy anymore. <laughs> I'm sorry, Taurus, but that's exactly the, the energy here. The sun in reverse, right? Unhappiness in the dark. I'm confused. I don't understand. You know, these are the words kind of. And the page of swords. Um, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius energy, but I uh, do believe there was some uh, harsh exchanges and, um, you know, some tough love that was shown some, some way. You know, winning at any cost, but this is how it feels. I don't know why. This is how it feels. Um, so, Taurus, in the past, you know my love readings by now, right? Past energies, current energies, and the possible outcome. So, we have, in the past, on your side, the person you are dealing with, and mutual energies. We have current energies on your side. The person you are dealing with and mutual energies. I believe we have three there. And let's see the possible outcome for January. Second week, but again, time, we discussed that already. So your side, the person you are dealing with and mutual energies. Bottom of the deck, we are now juggling. We are now struggling. We want to keep things in balance. For some of you, maybe you are still married to this person or still committed for a bond. Maybe you live together, you still share a home with them. But we are, you know, making the effort here. So let's see, of course, you can always uh, switch sides. Uh, sides. I know. I know sometimes I have all kinds of words here when I want to say any kind of whatever comes to mind because that's the intuition, right? Um, because these are, anyways. Um, so Taurus, in the past we have so much anger, or we had uh, Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, and officially you have Gemini three times, so might be a Gemini extremely significant, 
and uh, you had love for this person they had love for you we do have the lovers we do have the son they've made you happy maybe they gave you a child or you gave them a child you had a family and life was a bliss with this person that's how we get the ten of cups and something happened we'll stay with the energies but um that is a strong energy here of a very strong person believing that they can say anything they want whenever they want and without really wrapping um, the content in gentleness and uh, and respect um i'm picking up an energy that is um impulsive and um an energy and, and i hope this but I'm, I'm unfortunately this is how i feel right now it's the energy of I can't touch you, but my words will, you know, and this is how, um, how it feels, you know, um, so it's a form of, uh, revenge with the words that I'm picking up and some unfairness. And I uh, believe this, uh, it, this is how it feels like, right? It was the, the speaking, right? The, uh, the way of the approach of, or the, um, um, the way words words were used right that, that is something about the words um and probably the words made you as a couple and the words separated you as a couple and then we have some more hurt over here of course tell us you pick your um your uh, side right on this side um the person you are dealing with um we do have the nine of wands nine of wands is the wounded warrior uh, who, per who persevered anyways, offered love with the Ace of Cups, offered new beginnings each and every time. This is an energy of, oh yeah, it was hurtful. Uh, yeah, I got hurt in the process, but God, I love them, right? This is my, I still love that bastard, you know, <laughs> kind of energy. <laughs> I'm sorry, but uh, this is how it feels, you know, because somebody is still hurt. Um, somebody is full of bandages, we can still see the blood, right? And yet, the person is holding a cup. It's like, yeah, you know, life happens, I do understand, you know, people get angry, impulsive, it's not on purpose, it's just because it's difficult to control or, you know, finding excuses and still persevering with the cup. This is, yeah, but I still love them. I still want them. Mutual energies between the two of you, um not a lot not a lot of communication or maybe the spark went off because of of um you know harsh exchanges and the need to protect uh, yourself or um for some of you this is actually the opposite energy of i'm holding on to this connection even if the spark is no longer there i'm holding on to this connection even if Communication is bad. Again, page of wands in reverse is not a lot of communication or hurtful communication when we look at this. So, of course, you take it as it resonates. But again, this love was good. This happiness you guys had, it was real. Um, and then it turned into, you know, I don't feel that was this connection, but most certainly it turned into um, somebody feeling comfortable if I can put it like this, um, somebody feeling comfortable to say um, whatever, you know, um, whatever. Um, you know, we sometimes get under pressure and it would be so good, you know, to kind of vent and say, and so, you know, we uh, pressure down the, uh, you know, the body, but then, um, you know, uh, common sense has to kick in and you know a desire to kind of understand instead of um you know in instead of primal kind of reactions right i mean because we are no longer animals right we evolve so we we want to show that kind of evolution right and we uh, work with it anyways i'm sorry i'm sensing a lot of anger here I mean, first card out, five of wands, right? Somebody being like in a, you know, um, in a warrior mode and always ready to, you know, uh, put things straight. And that is the energy. I know, but that was love, um, Taros, that was love. Well, right now, we do have on your side, Taros, the seven of swords and the death. 
Scorpio energy and I'm not sure we know uh, the whole extent of the situation. Probably we are fighting an ending over here. Probably we are um, trying right now to fight an ending of some sort and the means to do that are maybe not, you know, the most open ones. So we manage, right? Like a seven of swords with a death card. Of course, we are trying to prevent, right? Something from ending. And if we have to use all the tricks in the book, um, I feel that somebody actually is doing all the tricks in the book too. And it's interesting because we have this energy of fighting and um, I mean, Queen of Swords in reverse is really an energy, like I was saying, of of angry words, of I'm going to say something because I know exactly that is going to push your button and this is what I want, you know, to make you, to have you react to something. So, or make you or have you or whatever, you know, you get my point, right? And now it's like, um, oh, hell no, you know, an ending is not going to happen because I'm going to cheat our way out of this ending. Um, again, can be the other person, right? Because this is this combination of cards speaks of that is an ending, uh, feeling it or maybe already here, but I'm not playing it fair play, you know, that's energy of... I am Taurus, this person uh, you are dealing with, we do have Eight of Swords. They are bound to you and blindfolded and they are not going anywhere. And um, an emotional loss, right? That's the Five of Cups, emotional loss, mourning, what, you know, the, uh, the connection and uh, what it was. And also seeing no way out and going nowhere and believing that there is no universe out there but yourself, you know? Um, and the world is like their world is your world really bound to you and it's exactly a continuation of the energies from the past right nine of wands it hurts but i'm staying right there i'm protecting myself a bit i'm a little bit smarter i know i have to heal but i'll have this cup for you and eight of swords is exactly this is the energy of i can i can't go anywhere uh there is nobody uh wanting me I have nowhere else to go, you know? And with the Five of Cups, yeah, it is. We don't have emotional fulfillment. Yes, that is a loss, but I'm staying right there. Mutual energies between the two of you. We do have the Five of Swords and the Justice. So I don't know if that is a divorce here or somebody filled the papers or whatever. And it comes with the Nine of Pentacles. I don't know if somebody wants to leave and somebody wants to stay over here, Taurus, but um, that is a wish fulfillment in the justice, the karma, the decisions, and the fight. Somebody is fighting for justice, somebody is fighting for balance, somebody is fighting a decision that would make both of you happy. Maybe this is about compromise and balancing the scales and meeting the other person halfway, again, in the synergy of conflict. Um, and also changes. Five is a number for challenges and changes, and you have five of wands, five of swords, so and five of cups. Um, so we are going through challenging times. We are going through challenging times, and um, and some fairness would help. You know, some balance, a good decision, something, a good compromise. You know, because we are in between. Um, fighting for this and uh, like an ending that will come eventually um, at some point, you know. Um, it is about fighting and I believe somebody is fighting uh, with a cup of love in their hands and the other person is fighting just because we need to win this. Um, and we need to find strategies, even if they are like unorthodox or kind of, um, you know, energies uh, or strategies or uh, planning something that is fully unorthodox. But then, um, hell yeah, you know. Um, so, in terms of people you might be dealing with, we do have Gemini, like I said, three times. Uh, we have Leo, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, you have Scorpio, you have Libra again. And that's about it. Let's see moving forward, Taros. On your side, Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So we are single over here. For some of you, this is actually a, a, a separation coming. 
um, and uh, you finding yourself by yourself. Focusing on money, career, financial independence, and just uh, your health and well-being. This is the Nine of Pentacles. And we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. We know she's the wife, the mother, and it is in reverse. So um, it's not really like a focus of some sort. Uh, and uh, we have you good. You're well. All is well, actually. This is what I feel on your side. Nine of Pentacles really is an energy of no, I'm good. You know, it was a hell of a, a hell of a time, actually. You know, it was a hell of a time, and and we are now standing tall, right? I might be a Taurus or go to Capricorn, like yourself. Uh, might be yourself, but um, you know, this person in January feels uh, rejected. We have them rejected by you. We have them feeling left out in a cold, and your energy is all over them. You know. Um, so Taurus, I, I don't know, maybe maybe you are no longer in love with somebody who loves you back or who loved you back and now no longer, right? But loves you anyways. Um, because we have you falling out of love, we have you using strategies and again, you, you can switch, of course, the, you know, the, um, the energies and you only choose what resonates with you, but we have somebody being comfortable coming out of a relationship um feeling actually fulfilled and um nine of pentacles is an energy of i no longer have any responsibility towards nobody that that's a feeling you know some consider it a good card nine of pentacles because financial independence is always good or at some point you know that is a form of therapy actually when we work um so that we forget um, emotional stuff and you know because it's concrete and keeps your mind busy so it has a, a touch of a good energy um but at, at the end of the day the person is uh you know the lady or the gentleman whatever it's a lady um she's by herself you know and um it's like no me and my money and i don't give you know an f about the rest of and i my only obligation is myself you know so i'm not sure that's good but hey who am I to judge, right? Um, so we have somebody uh, interestingly feeling accomplished because they are finally free, you know, and life is good. And I cheated my way out and I, I this is take what you can and leave uh, card, you know, the seven of swords. So whoever is on this side is like they took advantage of an ending. Yeah, they tried and they cheated the situation out of an ending, you know, trying to fight somehow. But then it looks like it happens, a separation here. And they are good because they did their homework while they were probably still married or still in connection with you or you apply however it resonates. But on this side, and I hope this is not your side, but it's more the energy around you. Like you've been, um, you know, somebody really made sure they uh, take out the most of whatever happened, right? On this side, if this is the person you are dealing with, you are loved, Taurus. What do you want me to say? They are suffering, they feel rejected. Um, if this is about a separation, right, and a legal situation here, and a legal battle, right, I'm not sure they um, take the, you know, what they deserve or what they have. On the contrary, that is a sense of lack and, and poverty and a sense of not having enough and a sense of loss, right? That's the type of pentacles. Um, and then that is your energy here with the Knight of Pentacles. Mutual energies between the two of you. Stagnation, we do have the Hangman, but also Illumination and the Six of Cups. Still thinking about each other. This is an energy of an awakening to some form of awakening to the, uh, you know, to what's going on. And um, like it's an energy of being in a present moment and extremely observant about what's going on I does look like January might be or maybe right now you are in a separation and uh, January is uh, the time to handle right the uh, whatever uh, consequences uh, came from it and um, because we have this stagnation card this uh, awakening but in the same time observing the situation and we have the six of cups you know 
still thinking about each other and observing each other, you know? But let me tell you what an intense energy over here. And somebody... Somebody did their homework here. You know, as soon as we saw the, the fights kicking in and the conflict and, you know, maybe money were involved with the Four of Pentacles, right? We know it's about money and our relationship with money. Somebody said, you know what, let me do my homework here in preparation of an ending. And somebody was all about the strategy here, Taurus. And yeah, emotions are still there. Ace of Cups, Six of Cups. Yeah, the bond is the bond is still there. Um, but then we have this. So now let me ask for some guidance. Let's ask for some guidance, Doris. Let's see what you're supposed to do with this. But the bond is still there. I know. Surrender defensiveness. Defensiveness is a sign of weakness. To communicate in a more empowered way, stay centered and hear someone out. Then offer a clear, non-defensive response. So I don't know if you need to listen, uh, Taros. The advice for you, honestly, is uh, please listen first. Um, this is what I'm here. It's like, please hear me out, you know. Uh, before we jump to whatever, please hear me out. Surrender to your soul's path. Your life journey has been perfectly designed for your soul's growth. Embrace every lesson and every moment. Yeah, there is something in it, Taurus, I would say. Whatever is going on doesn't look funny, um, doesn't look comfortable, but it's your soul path, right? So let's not fight it. Surrender to passion. I love this. Get out of your head and feel the fire in your belly. Focus on people or activities that ignite passion and let it flow. I just love this. Let's have some activation cards. Let's have some activation cards. Let's see what we need to manifest and vibrate with. And we have freedom. Oh yeah, there is freedom. All right. Um, I'm releasing any self-imposed restrictions or perceived limitations through the loving energy of openness. Yeah, there is a change in your life and we need to be open, all well, we know. And it's kind of in line with the defensiveness, right? It's interesting. Somehow, right? Let's fight it, at it. Let's fight it less and embrace the freedom. Friendliness. We need to be friends with somebody. We need to compromise and meet them halfway. I am able to recognize traits in common with another in order to forge love-based connections. Beautiful. Getting on the same level with them, right? And patience. I am able to let the universal energy of transformation move according to its own loving rhythm. Patience, I know. This situation requires patience. We have pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. Yeah, maybe you think, I don't know. I don't know if you see yourself maybe above, maybe below somebody, but it's like, you know, that is that is a main message here, you know, of listening, being friendly, being patient. This is what you kind of have to manifest in this um, in this situation. You know, it's a very it's very freeing actually, but it um, I know it's somehow difficult. Hey, Taurus, you know you have to let me know what you think, right? And um, as always, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and come see me next time. Love you. Take care. Bye.